So, I, after I made the rosehip tea, no, <laughs> after, okay, start over. second to last piece of art so this is recent this, I made this last summer and fall and winter and spring <laughs> it took forever um, so I call it Harley Quinn because of this it seems obvious it would be called Harley Quinn but it it, it works really well together Took me forever to make this background. I, I tore sheet music and I put it. I put it on here, but I wanted it to see. I wanted it to be see-through, so the paints I put on were transparent. I used some other textures, tissue paper, um, this this uh, textured tape that you put on walls for, for sheet rocking. Sheet rocking, yeah. And if you, you know, when we come in closer, you'll be able to see the notes and things. But so <coughs> I took my guitar hero, <laughs> my guitar hero pattern, pattern stencil kind of, and I. I made guitar shapes and I outlined them with string. So I put string around all the outlines. I just glued it on with glue and these textures right here are rose hip seeds, which is really strange because I mean, who would have rose hip seeds? You! <laughs> <laughs> Me! <laughs> So I made some rose hip syrup, and these are the seeds that were left. So this is the rose hip syrup. Let me just shake it. <coughs> these came from orange rose hips. Um, I use this to Tostitos jar because. All it needed to do was just seal. I didn't need to pressure it or anything. It's not that. Okay. So, it's actually really yummy. <clears throat> it's supposed to be for um, colds and, and it's for the cold season in the fall. So, um, rose hips are available in the fall, so you make this rose hip syrup. It's got a lot of sugar in it. But it's supposed to help keep you know colds away. I like it. It's yummy. After I made the rose hip syrup, I was left with all these seeds, like a whole bag full. It was a year that I've never seen. We went out to Kelly Canyon, picked all these rose hips that were huge. Anyway, yeah, when I reached my hand in them, I just felt I felt this amazing energy from them. So I I love feeling them, and I just kept them, put them on here. <laughs> so who would do that? Let's see. So that, then I took my metallic paints and, you know, painted them in sections, which is obvious. But I have this paint that oxidizes when you put, when you spray it with a patina. So that, that really added a cool effect. So I have to explain my instruments. This is not a flute. This is not a flute either. And this is not a 
an instrument. That thing is in the instrument. So we'll just start up here. I put these clothes pins, wooden clothes pins, inside. I inserted them between here. I had to pull it apart so they'd fit. I inserted them in so it looked like they were finger keys. Anyway, it looks very much like a trumpet. I added this for a finger hold. And anyway, <laughs> I looked up trumpets to see what they looked like. So I made it look like one. So the next thing was this Harlequin. I just found it in a secondhand store. Painted it to match. Over here, I found this metal ring that I don't know what it is, but I just found it on the road. And this right here, this, this ring around it is brass. It came from a clock factory in Sisters, Oregon. And it made it on my piece of art after years and years. <laughs> I found it back in probably 2007. A bunch of brass stuff that I got from Sisters, Oregon clock shop, which I don't remember the name of right now. Okay, so let's go to this flute. It's not a flute. Looks like a flute. But I took... This is a chair rail in the back. Um, the back of a chair. That's one of the, the railings of it. And I needed a mouthpiece, so I cut out a part of a flute that was broken and it fit exactly on here. It was really nice. These pieces came from a, a game and I imprinted a circle in each one so they looked like a, a key of a, a flute. This and this and this up here and Several other pieces came from sewing machine. And these are, whoops. <laughs> these are pieces of foam that I got from packaging or something. And these pieces of metal right here are nut picks and other metal rods I got from various places and some Allen wrenches. And right here, this isn't a ring that I got from Ecuador, actually, from Orphanage Services Organization. So this, this S, um, I've used that in some of my other art. And instead of making them look like piano keys that were black and white, I just kept up the theme of the metallic. Then next right here, this whole piece is made from lots of different pieces. This down here, I don't know what it is. It's just a round piece of wood that somebody painted and some plastic rings that I made look old and this is the neck of a violin this is a wooden spoon and these are violin pegs and let's see if I can play it I've never actually tried to play it <laughs> it works <laughs> but I wouldn't pluck very hard um, <laughs> this is a bridge of a violin. Maybe I can play that again. Let's play this one. <laughs> I like it. Don't. I tell me, don't touch my art. That's what I tell my grandkids. And let's see, what else? Over here, this is probably a pepper shaker, one of those big tall ones. Just made it look like 
whatever it looks like, a flute. What does it look like? <laughs> I don't know. And down here, this is a shower head. And behind it, there's another one of these rings that came from Sisters, the brass ring. And up here, this is a candlestick holder. Oh, these are Remy K, Remy Cube uh, tiles. And uh, these are from a puzzle. I use them in several different things, so you'll probably, you'll see what these came from in another video. And these little guys, what, what was this from again? Those little Co hands. Cooties. The uh, Cooties game. Okay. It's like you're making little ants from when I was a kid. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I never played that game, so it's, you don't want to get cooties, but <laughs> that's what this, these are from. I just thought they were really cool. Do they look like they're playing the piano? Um, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Right. I think it's fun. <laughs> All this down here, my kids were in competitions for piano or mostly piano. So that just showed up. <laughs> I don't, I don't know who earned who um who owned, earned it or anything. So basically, 